Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls. The walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. You can tell me if you were scared. After putting up with your breath this whole walk? Please. This walls thing doesn't scare me at all. <laughs> Still got your sense of humor, huh? Cute. Maybe. For those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that gonna be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Oh, you work for the worst people. Did you know that? Yeah, but that dental plan, though. See? Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking! Dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Ah, oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevian? At least they what gave me a crafting table. Mean, now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Choices take you places. Others get you nothing but dirt and gravel in your section. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's true. Gravel? It's Gravel, that's worse than dirt. Nope, just dirt. Come on. I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. As a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? <laughs> oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do actually. Rhetorical question. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Oh. This should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Okay, do whatever it is you have to do. Whatever you say. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes. The finishing blow. Try giving that friends thing a shot. It appears Emily has. Thank you. You made the right decision. The well, you could say you really inspired me. Oh, no, no, that's could, but suit. don't. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah. Why aren't you all killing each other? 
Yeah, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Aren't you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! What the shoot? These aren't your games anymore, Hadrian. Uh, these weren't our games? Wow, my urge to destroy is dissipating. Go, oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon. Right? You're all such strong, amazing fighters. You could fight the old builders. Defeat them. No way. I am very strong, but not strong enough for that. <laughs> yep, that is some straight crazy talk. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab, I'm so proud of- Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm, even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it! The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all <laughs> Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Levia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other. Not happening. Oh, would you cut it out with the cheating and bending the rules already? I heard Mevia. The game ends when someone steps on the winner's platform. Boom. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. So you admit the games are rigged then? <laughs> Sure! Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Mevia? Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to paint Otto! What are you doing? Now it's been fun. Really, but I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now, now, because uh, I will trap you here forever. You want the Redstone Heart? You're gonna have to pick it out of my inventory. Fine by me. The hard way's more fun anyway. Useless! Well, well. Just when you thought M had... Oh, you with us or not, M? Tisk tisk. Seems like classic Emily. She's always been a touchy one. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my pets. Oh, what the... Don't forget my axe, Hadrian! Got it, 
admit, kid, you've shown you got skills. But you're still no match for me. We'll see about that. I got this, Hadrian. Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you forgive me? <laughs> <sighs> this game is no! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. <laughs> I, I lost. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you guys. I know you said you were done helping me, but I hope you can give me another chance. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. Teamwork makes the dream work. So let's get to work. Let's take him down. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, suspenders. Over here. Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, yeah, nice choice. Not bad. Sweet. Payback time. Eliminate! Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime. Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Time for you to be eliminated. <laughs> Please. Not gonna happen, chump. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. <laughs> <laughs> For now, Bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Go, Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! I will personally see to that you and your friends will forever suffer! Shut up! 
Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Splee! Got it. Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah, Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on! What? Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I've come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. No! You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? Thomas Redstone Heart right out. The whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. You promise they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh, yes. I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but what if I'm bored? Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and, well, you're pretty awesome. Ah, oh, Jesse! That's wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. It probably won't be easy, Harper. I hope you're ready to work hard. Oh, I am. What I did? I'll be very grateful if they can forgive me someday. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. 
getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice! There it is. Home. I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yes, it does feel pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, that's lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The Crown of the Eversource the magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The mask of Cassie Rose, AKA the White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Pama was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh? I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, flint and steel are missing, too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Eh, he'll be back eventually. After everything we've been through, 
think I finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Unfortunate and unexpected turn of events, it appears we are in the land of zombies that are indeed the size of chickens. Zombies that are the size of chickens. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like they're dying to meet us. <laughs> Get it? Because they're undead and they're dead. Oh, never mind. Not your best work, Mevia. 